we all know the power of Alakazam being able to attack from the bench, with attackers like Mimikyu and Klefki in play. But what if we did Palkyo instead? With their absolute space ability, preventing your opponent from playing any stadium cards, meaning you can effectively lock Path to the Peak in play. Now, of course, there are other ways to get stadiums, but stadium bouncing is usually the way people do it. And so if we can catch our opponent off guard by locking Path in play and attacking with our Alakazam EX, we can get some cheeky wins. So how about we do just that in today's video? But first, we have a bit of a different sponsor for today. It's their Roll the Tape. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes it's quite tough being a genius. But you know what makes it that little bit tougher? It's not being six foot. But today, I have found a way to help me grow. Let me demonstrate now. I've definitely got bigger there, and it definitely wasn't the product I'm going to promote right now. Okay, fine, I'm a fraud. It was FlexiSpot, who provided me with a standing desk. Yes, a desk that allows you to stand, hence the name Standing Desk. And I tell you what, I really quite like the little functions you get on this desk. So as you can see, there's a standing function and a sitting function. These are all settings that you can set for preferred heights. So if you're at 91, which is my preferred standing setting, all you need to do is press the M key and then go for the standing button. So if I have it at a setting that I don't like, I've got to press the standing button and it should bring it back to where I would like to be. And obviously you'd want it lower for a sitting setting. So if you go to a sitting setting, if I press the seat key, it should bring me back to my seat. So if you are in the market for getting yourself a standing desk and flexi spot is definitely a good spot to check out. Check out the store, click the link in the description below and see for yourself, man. But we'll leave it there. Let's get into the video. Now you might be wondering why I've, uh, my, uh, my opponents in this video are going to be uh, not really really high tier decks, so to speak. As you can see, we've got a Growlithe here. Um, I, I genuinely I, I, I post, did a post on Twitter about this. I've had the worst long streak I've, which lost streak I've ever had ever, right? And I, I know you might be thinking, oh, he's just doing a YouTube, YouTube, a usual YouTuber thing and just emphasizing. No, seriously, the worst I've ever encountered in like history of me playing this game. And it's, it's almost kind of overwhelming <laughs> how crazy it is. Um, I'll get more into it. Let's play this though. Right, so Ultra Ball's probably better next turn for a bit Barrel here, right? So I can start drawing cards. I do like the Abra, the Kadabra in hand and stuff like that. I don't think I need to do anything else apart from just pass here. Can go for it. Actually, to be fair, a side shot's not a terrible shot, is it? Side shot for 20. Let's go. Um, and it's not just, by the way, playing Alakazam, right? It's not because I've been trying to test this deck and it's not working, although it definitely plays a part. Um, it's I've, I've built about five decks and all to like make videos on and try and focus on. And I kept for the life of me cannot win with them. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to refine them as, as I always do with all my decks. And I'm sure by now, a lot of you know, I don't have to, I'm not, not a terrible deck builder, right? You know, I'm not making anything world beating, but I make functional decks. And this has been over the past few days. I haven't just not uploaded over the past past few days because I couldn't be bothered. I've tried every single day to get videos recorded, get them done, test decks, put up for hours of work as I usually do with literally zero Zero award, none. And I've never felt, oh my God, so defeated. <laughs> it is insane. I'm pushing on because I think that's what you should do in these scenarios. You should keep pushing. I think that's the important thing. But my Lord, has it been an insane experience. Imagine it's like the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome, but being forced to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta do it because it's your job. Um, it's it's a, it's a surreal experience in, in many ways, I'll be honest. Uh, my phone's going off. Uh, don't need a call right now. Thank you, sir. J appreciate that. I, however, I'm gonna try and start thinning a little bit here. There's an Alakazam and two energy gone, so Rod is nice. Gonna get rid of probably an Abra and a Choice Belt, but then Choice Belt. No, I could just burn the Fog Crystal if I need to. Let's get Bib Barrel here. Maybe I should have. I'm, I'm anticipating getting Alakazam now, but maybe I should have attached and got the Kadabra going. I don't know. Right, let's play the Fog Crystal, and I will get an energy. Why not? And then I will Rod and get Alakazam back and two energy. Let's see if we can set up here. Right, so Duchess in sizes. Bit of a shame we got our Bib Barrel in the active, but what can you do? And I'm going to nest the ball here for probably another Palkia. And I will end turn. Bit of a shame we got Alakazam, but no rare candy. I do, though, in this chain, in the next game, you'll see uh, I didn't have this card in it, but I've added three copy for, copies of Arvin. The biggest issue I've had with this deck was getting the pieces. It was like, right, I don't have an Ultra Ball, but I have a rare candy. I have to Iono because I've, I've got an Iono, an Iono in hand. Or vice versa, right? I have like an Alakazam, but no rare candy. Or I have an Ultra Ball, but no rare candy. Or I have a rare candy, no Alakazam or Ultra Ball. Need to, and then you Iono, and then you Iono into those cards. It's kind of infuriating. I can't lie. Uh, also, Palkia hasn't done anything. Oh god, this is horrible. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying my best, all right? But, you know, I've done it before. I'll always do it. If it's not working, I'll tell you it's not working, all right? Because first off, I'm, at least I get to make something out of my time instead of wasting it for days, you know? I, I've taken days now to really figure it out and try, and it's going nowhere. So I might as well make use of that time and at least show you that kind of side of the process where sometimes things just don't 
work and everything I've done these past few days don't work. I'm probably just going to scrap all those decks, even though they're quite interesting decks. They're decks that have like a really good concept. They're really fun. They could work, but for some reason, I, it's, it's an amalgam amalgamation of things. It's the deck itself. It's my my own skill set, my own tilt. Right when you tilt yourself, you're going to play worse than you should be playing. Uh, with the fact that I've probably had the worst RNG I think I've ever had in, in, in a Pokemon game as well. Some interesting stuff. And also the matchups. I guess here, Alakazam is just like, right, pretty bad matchup for Charizard. And all you really see is Charizards. That's kind of the problem. It's like, I want to play Alakazam. I want to do this power Kid combo. Oh, Alak uh, the boss. Bye-bye, Alakazam. Bye-bye. You know what I mean? Or I want to play uh, an, an acute uh, kind of deck. Something that's a bit more, you know, uh, obscure like a, a certain VMAX deck or a certain EX deck, and then Charizard comes out and destroys you. Like, I don't know. The, the power of this card on the ladder right now is kind of throwing me off. It's really tilting me, man. And you're seeing it all the time. And it's like, good luck. It's like, you have to counter it or you just lose. And it's it, it kind of reminds me of like the ADP days, man. But ADP wasn't being countered, so I'm not going to go that far. But it ju I just get that vibe, you know, the same vibe. Uh, nonetheless, our Mind Jack's doing nothing here. So we're going to have to sacrifice this Abra. And I can't draw because my barrel got bossed up and I couldn't retreat it. Even though I have switch cards and stuff in deck, I'm not finding any support cards. I, I've, I've got if I'm on research, there's my switch. Things come at the wrong time all the time. You can see my frustration, right? I'm trying. I'm, I really am trying here. Like, I'm not trying to be a bad player. I'm just not getting anything or going my way. It's just it's just one of those days, you know what I mean? The only thing I'm hoping is they can't boss me up and I can KO this and then fine. They can maybe take a few turns back and I'm, but I can hopefully recover. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of wild. It's kind of wild. Sometimes the days be like this and I'm just gonna have to be honest with you and say, hey, it happens, man. It happens. It happens. And I really want to try to pack ya, but it's a big guy working. For crystal, isn't that great? What do I get? Literally nothing. Fine, I'll get myself a mimic dude. I could give me something at least. I'm gonna go for. To be fair, it's probably better I've promoted this and then retreated. But I wasn't anticipating the four crystal top, top deck, so do one. Right, mind Jack, come in. Next turn, I can maybe, hopefully, get away to put Mimikyu in the active and start swinging and maybe make a comeback. And this might be my first win, no cap, my first win in three straight days. I haven't won a single game. And I, I'll put losses up. You know that. You know I don't mess about. I put losses up, right? If I lose, I lose. I'm going to try this concept out. And I said to myself, you know what? If I lose trying this out, I lose. Screw it. I'm uploading it and showing how it lost. Simple as that, right? But, but three days straight, it's going to hit you in the psyche a little bit. You know, your mental is going to be a bit flipped over. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be like, hmm, maybe some Something's really going wrong here. Or, you know, it's just bad coincidence. It's hard to tell right nowadays. Um, right. Nowadays, like it's something to do with society. What is Blood Waffling about? I think I have to retreat into um into into Mimikyu here. And next turn, try and find a rare candy. And we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna end turn. I know, I'm venting a little bit. I'm sorry. All right, but try and record for three days straight and get nowhere. I'm sorry. And with different decks, bear in mind. I haven't just been trying to record of Alakazam for three days. I've been recording, as I said, a bit about five different decks and trying to record of all of them. Nothing is working. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't explain it. If only I had genuine, like, footage of the whole journey. Oh, it was insane. It was absolutely insane. Like, yesterday, I did call it quits a bit sooner. Yesterday, I was recording earlier in the morning. It's early in the morning for me now. And I got so angry, I started punching my desk. Like, out of genuine anger, and I was like, okay, that's time to come off. You know when it affects your mentality that much, you just gotta stop. Um, so I stopped, came off, and thankfully, at the right point, my friend invited me out for the night. So I went out with him, um, and my brother, just to kind of call off, which was nice. And I thought, okay, do you know what? We'll refresh, we'll call off, and today we'll be fine. How did they get an Entei going? How did they do that? Guess I'll have to promote the, the, the doof. I promote this. That's well, I can retreat you. So I guess I'll promote you. Let's get Big Barrel going. <sighs> I can't research because I've got Alakazam in hand. I just need a rare candy and Arvin will get me there as well. It'd be nice. So I just need to get an Arvin or something. I play three Arvin. You better give me something here. Otherwise, I'm claiming voodoo. Okay, thank you. That's also a bit sus. <laughs> a bit too much. A bit too much. A bit clumped together there. All right, we have an Alexam to play with. That's fine. I can Arvin for a Nest Ball and a Vitality Band, which will actually get me the KO. Oh, wait, no, you take 20 damage, so it won't. Lovely. Let's Nest the Ball here. I'm going to throw probably a Palkia, I think. Yeah, because you're not getting KO'd by the end, say. We'll retreat this Alakazam. Our path's going to stay locked in place, so that's good at least. And then we'll go for a Mind Jack. Somehow we've Gotten. Oh, wait, it goes through? Why? 20 less damage, is it from the active uh, Pokemon? Oh, wow, it navigates that ability? Sweet. Guys, you might be seeing my first win in, uh, what was it, 72 hours? Wow. Granted against the lackluster deck, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. At least Palkia is stopping Charizard from doing anything crazy. Only issue is here. Oh, my God, they scooped. Oh. I haven't seen that victory screen in so long. Has the curse been broken? <laughs> a wingle. Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, seems to be like playing the, 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 the ladder Charizard type deck. The one that you get off the ladder, I think. Um, anyway, that said, let's not worry too much about that. Let's nest ball for an Abra. Gonna nest ball for a Bidoof. And I think I will for Crystal for an energy to get that onto the Abra. And the next turn, we can get ourselves a Bid Barrel. Let's end turn and go from there. They're gonna level ball here and grab themselves a Charmander. This is great for a path lock kind of deck. Charles R 
Charmander is going to do nothing. Thankfully, it's not the Arvin variant. <laughs> we'll take those. There's a Charmander on the bench there. They go for a boss's orders, funnily enough. Bringing up the Bidoof. Okay. And an Ultra Ball coming out. Getting rid of a Charizard and a Charmeleon. Grabbing themselves a Charizard EX that they probably have path up. Uh, path red candy in hand meaning it's a great time to get path to the peak out that's for sure oh and energy as well right we definitely have to path we don't have to switch the bit barrel out although i would like to i think i do i think i do because charizard can't even hit into mimikyu anyway so i think i will do that and then i'll go for ultra ball and get the barrel i was just debating between that energy because it'd be nice if we could get alakazam attacking this turn and getting rid of that energy just makes it one one step less likely but i think i'm all right with this there's an energy anyway and we have palkia this time that's good and we can iono so we can at least get rid of the obvious charizard our rare candy they have in hand. Let's see if we get Alakazam. We don't. We don't even get the uh, a, a, a Kadabra. That's what it is. I forgot these names. Jesus. <laughs> That's all right. It is what it is. We have draw. We have things working here. If the Mimikyu isn't going down, but if it does, then we have Palkia to come up and lock the path in play anyway. In fact, I probably want Palkia in the active purely because it just means they cannot bounce path without some external resource. Uh, I, I don't think this deck plays that. There's a Nest Ball coming down though, and a Torkoal coming into play. There's an energy down on the Torkoal and a Defiance Band. Okay. Miriam coming out of all things. So they have the recovery there for their Charmeleon Charizard. And they will shuffle it into the deck and draw three. And they pass. Top deck me, a rare candy. And we're talking. Okay, but then get a candy. That's fine. Right, I actually am going to retreat the Mimikyu because it's just going to get KO'd by Torkoal eventually. Just go into Palkia. So now the path is stuck. And I think I go for a Judge of Reno. Come on. I know. I had to get rid of my own uh, Alakazam there. But ah, man, still digging here. Still digging. All right, let's fold Crystal. I think I'm just going to fail it and go for a Industrious Incisors here. I know I could have benched that. That's Mimikyu, but I want to save it for another Palkia. So if there is escape rope, then the path still stays locked in play. We're just trying to find our Alakazam. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, I do play a uh, Kadabra in here. So uh, and we do play Red Candy. So uh, we're just not getting them. There's another Torko on the bench and a Charmeleon coming into play this time. And no matter what, we know this list probably cannot counter. There's another Abra. Great stuff. All of these cards, though bottom of the deck, please. Don't want them anymore. I need my other cards. I need my... Okay, that's a bit too overkill, surely, boy. Right, let's Ultra Ball here. Gonna get rid of a Judge and probably a Roxanne, and then just get myself a Kadabra, and then next turn we got the Ultra Ball guaranteed for Alakazam, and we can finally start attacking with this thing. Don't you dare give me a rare candy. I'll be fuming. I'll be absolutely fuming. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's just end turn and leave it there. What's great is even though we've literally thrown them into a bigger hand, uh, to be fair, I don't know the stadium count on this kind of uh, build, but I'm assuming there's a Magma Basin or something like that, looking at how these decks are usually constructed. So I'm hoping, because the, the thing is with this Palkia, right, is you can't actually see the effect of it. You can't physically see it getting, like, preventing my opponent from playing stadiums. Well, you could, I guess, if they play a research and you see stadiums in hand, then you would know that you've locked them out of it. But I guess it's good comfort knowing that we just have Path in play and we've removed the main way of them bouncing it. It's very similar to how Neuvern um, EX did its stadium lock, which was kind of fun to mess with. Either way, they have an energy on the tour card now and they're going to go for a Jack, but they can't use their Charizard EX. We know that. They can, however, use their baby Charizard, which is going to buff up Torkoal a lot. And Torkoal annoyingly is 130. And we do not play a Vitality Band in here, which is a bit of a shame. But oh no, no, they've gone for both Charizard EX. Do they know what Path does? Or is it just... Because they didn't go for their, their, their baby Charizard. Unless they got that in hand. I don't know. But they've evolved and it's done nothing. I think they didn't understand the Path so well. Yep, the time is ticking. The realization's coming in. They're going to wreck Candy into another one. I don't know what they're doing. It's obviously not going to do anything. Infernal Rain fails to activate yet again. They've got to be scratching their head right now. I'm sorry, this must be a new player. I feel bad. But I, I can't... The algorithm, I can't do anything about it. And they pass. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's tragic. <sighs> Listen, the game's the game, bro. The game is the game. I'm getting rid of a Judge and Mimikyu. We finally get our Alakazam out. I can rod here. But uh, do I do that? Do I do that? I think I might boss and start attacking this Torko. That's the only actual threat right now. So we might as well start swinging into it. But you know, I am going to rod, but just for energy. Because we are going low on the energy count, to be fair. And let's just go with the Industrious Incisors. There's another Alakazam. Alakazam, another Abra, but I'm going to let's ball here for another Palkia in case an escape probe comes out. And that is a Dimension Hand. Now, you could have argued that if I found the Retreat, but I didn't, that I could have just gone with Mind Jack, because Mind Jack still is an attack on Alakazam. And we are doing, what was it, 210 with it, I think, right now? So it's 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, it would have been 210, which would have cared at all, Cole, but uh, eh, is what it is, right? That said, <laughs> having a Charizard in the active means we do not want an Alakazam coming in. But uh, either way, there's a Clavel. What does Clavel do? Three basic Pokemon, three 120 or less. Okay. There's a Nest Ball after that. 
that Clavel. So they are deck thinning, that's for sure. Although they got nothing from that nest ball. Wingo coming on the bench. That is the concentrated fire. Do they get the heads? They get one. Oh, oh, oh. They only needed two heads for a 160, but no, it's lasted on an, an unfortunate 80 for them. But you know what? It is what it is. Right. Uh, I kind of don't like the idea of researching this away, especially after a rod. But, ah, oh God, the boss as well. The boss is quite good. I mean, that said, what are they going to do here? I'm going to get rid of it. It's risky, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, there's the rare candy, but no Alakazam. It's just the wrong cards in the, right, the hand at the wrong time, isn't it? Typical stuff, Sean. Typical stuff. What's our Alakazam situation anyway? We've got one left. I think from now on, right? Look, Palka has done its job. We take our KO here. We've prevented Charizard from just getting a ton of energy into play. And once this Palka goes down, which it will, we can then bring Mimikyu out. And that way the Charizard can't do anything to it. And that gives us what we need. So I think we're okay. Just cautious of boss's orders, though. That's what I'm worried about. As soon as they boss Alakazam up, kind of in trouble. And they are a Pelipper away from doing that. There's an energy on the Charizard EX. And a research. No boss. Okay. They didn't have a Pelipper anyway. So that's good. No boss for now. That is EXP share. Oh my God. This is actually, even with the great advantage we've had here, still such a difficult game because Charizard is just that good. That's so insane, man. Here's me thinking that they'll kind of calm down the power creep. No, nope, they amped it up to 11. All right, there's the KO. Mimikyu's going to come out, however, and that's just going to give us some solidarity here. So we'll take that. Plus we can Iono. <laughs> another rare candy. Come on, man. Let me get another Alakazam out, bro. Let's just go for it. Iono here and we get an Alakazam, but nothing else on top. I also think I'm going to attach an energy here just for the sake of it. And I'm also going to pal pad the bosses back. I think that's going to be useful because I think they're going to be taking a few hits retreating. We need to make sure we can pick up these Charizards and KO them, although we're running thin already. Ah, there is that rare candy. Lovely stuff. It does opens up our ability for aggression. That's why I want to Alakazam because I can go for a Mind Jack for 120 and it's now 210, which we're hitting. So we can retreat the Mimikyu, hit 210 for a KO. Fine, they come back and KO us, but then we can bring Mimikyu back up and go for it again. And that hopefully will get us there. But no, they're going to boss anyway. This is the power of Charizard. The big problem is we're weak to dark. Yeah, that's the big problem with Alakazam nowadays. It's like, if you're weak to dark, good luck. Unless you're Mew, because Mew always has a pass. That's what we've learned by Peoria. Mad that a Mew DTE got top eight in Peoria. It's, it's crazy with the popularity of Charizard. Kind of wild how good Mew is, man. That just shows, that shows enough, doesn't it? Anyway, that aside, Alakazam is one of those ones that unfortunately, when getting gusted up, is not fun. And the crazy thing is, they actually have Pelipper, which really helps them, because Pelipper can recover a supporter. It's going to recover a boss, and they're going to boss up me, 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 Right, let's bring up Mimikyu. Now we're just going to have to pray a little bit here. I'm going to throw the energy on the, on the Mimikyu. We can attack with that. But not ideal, but we can. Let's be barrel here. And I think we just go for another dimension hand and hope that they haven't got another instant boss out. You know what I mean? If we could just get a couple of turns of Mimikyu walling, that would be good. There's a Pelipper. No, it's game over. Oh, 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 it's a wrap, boys. Oh, no. And they recover a boss's orders. In fact, they recover. Oh, they do. I thought they recovered two there. I was like, what the hell? But no, it's one. Gonna boss up Alakazam. We can't even, we can't even KO this Charizard with the Mimikyu. <laughs> Who knew the Pelipper would be so clutch for him? But you know what? Fair play. It just goes to show, Charizard is like the worst possible matchup for Alakazam. It's like, yeah, okay, pass me out, block me off, do whatever, right? All I'm gonna do is boss you up and win. That's the, that's the crazy thing. We need a Diancy, but for stage twos, yeah? Give me that. Oh my God. There's the Mimikyu coming up. What can you do? I mean, I don't even think I've got enough resources left. I'm out of my Alakazams. Um, I've got one Abra left. Right. Oh God, I need, I need my rod now, but that's not happening. Meaning I'm going to have to hope that I can just wall them off for the rest of the game. If they've got no supporters, I can just keep mimicking here, but do I even have enough time? I've got five cards left in deck. There's an energy on the Torkoal. <laughs> yeah, Torkoal's the biggest problem, right? An energy recycler. There's no way we're doing deck out then, that's for sure. I'm just trying to think, how many turns do I need in order for Mimikyu to actually take all the prizes and be able to wall? So it's going to be two KOs, so it's going to be one turn on this Charizard, two on the Torkoal. Six turns. Oh, it's literally impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> that's two prizes there bringing us down to three. We could go for the two Pelippers though, which actually means four turns, meaning this is a total of six turns, meaning we have the best outcome being a total of seven turns in order to get a win. Uh, unless we find an Iono, which I think we have. We might have one copy. Then that's an arguable potentiality. It's, it's something that could happen, but we need a lot to go our way. They're getting rid of a Charmander and a Charmeleon, or should I say, that's a lot of copium. They've got another Torkoal down as we watch our slow and inevitable demise or potential slow rise. I am on copium, but sometimes it feels good to just have a bit of a dose of that sometimes. You know what I mean? Anyway, they've gone for research. I think the biggest flaw is that we had Palkia doing its thing and we just didn't have, while setting up, any way of getting the Alakazams out quicker enough. Like if we had Alakazam out sooner, a couple turns sooner, the game would be so different, but uh, that's just the reality of it. Hey, right, let's keep going. Ghost Eye for the KO on, on uh, the, the Charizard EX. I just want a way to shuffle cards back into my deck. That's all I want. The Torkoal might not have enough time to charge up effectively to get the KO, which again, I know is still copium because 
because they need to get one energy, two energy, and then hit only one head. Ah, not great. But if things get lucky for us, you never know. There's an Arvin. That's good that they've played that there because it means I can boss up Pelipper and maybe try and take him down. There's an energy on the Torkoal, but they're going to have to pass the, I would expect. They go for a Stampede. Oh, two of them will even do us. Mimikyu, why is so soft? Huh? All right, keep it going. We're just going to go for a Ghost Die and pray. If they get Tails out of three flips, unlucky. But... That could win us the game, hypothetically. Oh, wait, no, because once we KO it. Oh, no, no. XP share won't, won't activate, will it? Oh, it doesn't matter. The Charizard can't even hit us, so I don't know what I'm talking about. There's the concentrated fire. No heads, please. One, two. Oh, God. They just got the one heads they needed, and that is all she wrote for that game. That was tough, man. Don't get me wrong. You know what? I know my opponent's deck is kind of like the default one you get, but come on. Those Pelippers, they actually gave it a, 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 an edge in that game, which was kind of wild. And that's not to complain. GG to my opponent there. Is the Alakazam with Palkia a cool concept? Yeah, it's quite fun. Should you play it, though? God, no. Avoid it at all costs. As we mentioned before, Charizard is infectious. It's all over the format to a point where it actually kind of irritates me, and I need to really look in the mirror and think about that. But I'm sorry for venting. I needed to get that out. I'm going to try and record another video and hopefully it goes well. Yeah, bye-bye.